really loud here. Let me just put my board right around here. <laughs> Make this face. Everything we're going to be learning today is related to the word t-t-t-t-t. Here is the first way we're going to learn how to use t. You take an action verb stem and you change it into an adjective. You can take an action verb, let's just say hada. Well, you could get hanen, present tense, hal, future tense, han, past tense, for example, anything like that. Then you attach t and optionally e. So it could either just be t or t shi. Most of the time, you'll hear t shi, but in writing, you might see t used a lot. Literally, t shi means similar or almost the same. In that sense, you can think of it as meaning like. Something is like something else, similar to, or as if. So as if something like this, it says your guess. This is the main point about t. It says something is like, it's just like that. As in, I'm guessing. I'm not 100% sure, but to me, I'm guessing it. It's as if something. It's like something, or it's similar to, it's almost the same as. So because it's almost the same as, it's as if, but it's my thought. So keep that in mind. The other forms we're gonna be using today with t are just variations of how t is used. Just ways of using t, but the same meaning applies to all of the forms we're gonna be talking about today. So how do we use this then? So the way that it works is you'll have some part of a sentence. So let's just say a is whatever comes before t, b. This means that here, whatever comes after t is almost the same as a, or at least it appears to me that b is almost the same as a. So b is as if a, b is like a, or b is, you know, it's similar to a, it's almost the same as a, b is. Nomu ukkyoso. Ukkida means to be hilarious. Something is really funny. Something was so funny that Michin te. Michi that means to be crazy, to lose your mind. Michin. It's used in the past tense as an adjective. Here, michin. Usasoyo. I laughed as if, like, I was crazy because it was so, literally, nomu, too funny. Nomu ukkyoso michin deshi usasoyo. I laughed like crazy because it was so funny. I laughed like I was crazy. So, almost the same as I was crazy. Almost as if. Not really, but like almost as if I were. Almost just the same as this action verb that comes before. Michin deshi. I laughed as if I was crazy. Nomu ukkyoso michin deshi usosoyo. I laughed like crazy because it was so funny. Sonmuru pakko dir deshi kippo hesoyo. Sonmuru pakko dir deshi kippo hesoyo. So this third party, this person, he or she, let's just say charsu. Sonmuru pakko, he got a gift, and then pakko, dida, fly, dear tushi, as if he would fly. So he's like so happy, as if he would fly. He's so happy he could fly. Sonmuru pakko, dear tushi, kippo hesoyo. Happy as if, future tense, would fly. Sonmuru pakko. Dear Tushi Kipo Hesoyo. He was so happy he could fly after he got the present. Eo Prayo ga nalge tochin te. Palyo nagasoyo. Palyo nagasoyo. They were sold and they left. So, like, they were sold and they went. Like, they flew off the shelves as if they had wings. Literally, as if they sprouted wings. Nalge tochin te. As if they sprouted wings. Nalge tochin te. As if they had sprouted wings they were sold. So the air fryers were just flying off the shelves as if they had wings. The next form we're going to be using is the same thing, but a different version that you might see. And that is also with an action verb, but this time you're not going to change it into an adjective. You're going to take the action verb stem and attach this she directly to it. And the way it works is the same. E is optional. So what's the difference then? This one is a little bit stronger. Instead of saying it's as if or it's like, it's more like saying this is like exactly like, just as if, that sort of meaning. So then when is it used? This is the form you're going to be using in metaphors or idioms because it's a more stronger, more direct way of saying that something is like something. Let's do a sentence though. Pur pode. Pur means fire. Poda, to see. As you see fire, as if you see fire. You can't miss it, right? If you see fire, it's a Korean idiom. Like, if there's fire, oh, it's there. You see it. 
obvious like you see fire. So clear as day. Kyogwa is a result. So it is a result or an outcome as clear as day. Clear as you see fire. It was so easy to see what the result was. Like obviously, as you see fire, so clear as day. So it was a result that was as clear as day. Let's just look at the mokdet part. Pam mokdet. As you eat a meal. Nom 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 nom. Pam mokdet. Koji maru heyo. So he lies like he eats a meal. Often. All the time. Che dongsengun. Koji maru pam mokdet heyo. He lies like he eats a meal. Three times a day. A lot. Che dongsengun. Koji maru pam mokdet heyo. So now let's go on to our next version of to, 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 to. So you take a verb, any verb, descriptive verb or action verb, and you change it into an adjective. Then you attach to, hada, and you can conjugate hada. Heyo, hesoyo, anything like that. What does this mean? It's kind of like you're doing or acting like, or doing or acting as if verb. This is kind of like saying, it seems as if. As in, this is my guess. There is another form that I can tell you this is used mostly the same way as. Kotkata. This has mostly the same meaning as saying this. Now, kotkata is a little bit different in that this one's kind of more for expressing your actual thoughts. Like, I think. This one, though, is saying, according to my guess, it seems as if that. Tada is kind of a fancier version of kotkata. But in general, they have the same usage. Kotkata is kind of like saying, I think. And tada is kind of like saying, it seems as if. So let's do an example of that. I don't think it's going to be easy. Literally, I think it will not be easy. I don't think it'll be easy. So, it doesn't seem like it'll be easy. Instead of just saying, I think it won't be easy, you're saying, oh, it doesn't seem like it'll be easy. It seems like it won't be easy. Let's do another. At a place, a location that is cool, stylish. A food that a king had eaten. Moguni. Because I am eating food that a king had eaten in a cool place. So I'm at a really cool place and I'm eating food that a king had eaten before. Nado, me too. Wangi tende tada. I also think, I also feel like, it also seems like I've also become a king. It also seems as if I have become a king. I also thought that it seemed as if I had become a king because I was eating food that a king had eaten at a really cool place. It's like I became a king too because I'm eating the same food a king ate at this really cool place. So it feels like I'm a king too. So I also thought it was like I'd become a king because I was eating food that a king had eaten at a cool place. Okay, let's do another sentence. It seems as if many people will participate in the marathon. It seems as if many people will participate in the marathon. I think many people will participate in the marathon. It's similar, but it seems as if. It does sound much more fancy, right? It seems as if many people will participate in the marathon. Let's do one more sentence. It seemed as if the wind was telling me to cheer up, right? Maybe you're having a bad day and you're walking around, but the wind's like blowing some leaves around. It's not being annoying, it's just being like really calm, but like nice. And it seemed as if the wind was telling me to, you know, to just cheer up. Parami, wind, 저에게, to me, 힘을 내라고, cheer up, 얘기해 주는 듯 했어요. It seemed like it was telling me to cheer up. Parami, 저에게, 힘을 내라고, 얘기해 주는 듯 했어요. So it seemed like the wind was telling me to cheer up. We have one more form of 듯, 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 듯 싶다. So the way we're going to make our next form is you take a verb and again, you change it into an adjective and then you attach to and then shipta. Shipta means to think or to wonder. So let's 
look at this then. T is something that's like something else, right? It's almost the same as something else. I think that something is almost the same as something else. How is that different than de tada? I think it seems like. This is actually very similar to de tada. This form is like you're making a guess or an assumption about whatever comes before it. This form is a little bit less common than de tada. Also, this form is more of a guess than de tada is. De tada, as we said, is kind of like saying, it seems like, it's as if. De chita is more like, I, I think so, maybe. It's more of a guess feeling than de tada. But overall, the meaning is the same. It's still de. Shipta does mean to think or to wonder, but it's more of like a think as in, I think, or I'm thinking about it. Not a think as in, 생각해요, I think. This is what I think. But you're more like, maybe, I wonder. So it's more of that wondering kind of to think. Okay, let's do an example with this. 무릎이 아픈 걸 보니, so seeing as my knees hurt, literally, I wonder, I thinking, it seems like it's gonna rain, seeing as my knees hurt. So seeing as my knees hurt, I think it's going to rain. 무릎이 아픈 걸 보니, 비가 올것 같아요. You can say that. 비가 올 듯해요. It appears like it seems like it's going to rain, but the chipoyo, like, I think maybe it's going to rain. That's kind of the feeling. It's less sure. It's more of a guess than the hada. 무릎이 아픈 걸 보니 비가 올듯 싶어요. Seeing as how my knees hurt, I think that it will rain. Or, future tense, it will rain. 내일이면 끝날 듯 싶어요. I'm thinking maybe it'll finish by tomorrow. Literally, if it's tomorrow, it seems that it will finish, I think. I'm wondering, I'm thinking, it'll finish by tomorrow. 내일이면 끝날 듯 싶어요. 내일이면 끝날 듯 싶어요. Now let's do our last sentence. 연습을 많이 했지만. So, I did a lot of practicing, but 아직, still, 부족하다, to be insufficient, to not be enough. 부족한 듯 싶어요. 연습을 많이 했지만. So, I did a lot of practice, I practiced a lot, but 아직 부족한 듯 싶어요. But I still think I'm not good enough. 연습을 많이 했지만 아직 부족한 듯 싶어요. So that was our last sentence for today. 그럼 다음에 또 봐. Man, it's really uh, kind of hot out here actually, even with the, the stream rolling. Let me just kind of put my hat on. Oh no! Hold on guys. It's floating in the lake, guys. It's getting swept away. I'm going to go in after it, guys. Hopefully I can catch this hat. <laughs>